In this video, we will discuss the auto scrubber machine. The auto scrubber is used to clean floors from slurry and dirt during the grinding and polishing process. It is a very important step because it prevents dirt and debris from damaging the finish of the polished concrete. The component parts of the auto scrubber are the vacuum hose, the squeegee, the spinning brush, the water tank, the command panel. The following are some tips to properly use the auto scrubber. On the electrical panel, there are several commands engine start key, scrubber, vacuum, detach, soap level, water level, battery level light, soap release, direction buttons, speed level. Attach the vacuum hose to the squeegee and tighten it to the machine by turning the butterfly screws. Place the brush in front of the machine and move the auto scrubber right over the brush. Push the pedal and lever down to attach the head to it. Always check that the brush is completely attached in place before starting the machine. Start the machine by turning the key. The vacuum button will start the vacuum only, while the scrubber button will start both the vacuum and the scrubber. If the brush is not properly attached to the head, the auto scrubber will vibrate and produce a noise like this. Turn off the machine and securely attach the brush to the head. If the parts are not properly attached, they will cause the auto scrubber to break and the floor to be damaged. Push a squeegee down by pulling the lever and start the spinning head by pushing the direction button. To detach the brush, raise the head and press the detach button. The brush will be automatically disconnected and released on the floor. When detaching the squeegee, always remember to grip the plastic coupling when detaching the vacuum hose. Important! Do not detach the hose by pulling on the hose itself. It is very delicate and over time this will cause holes in the vacuum hose. When the battery level is low, it must be charged. Remember to unplug the battery every so often so that the machine's computer can reset. The blade on the squeegee must be replaced when it becomes worn. Make sure you have already reversed it in all four positions before replacing it. Front, upside down front, back, upside down back. When the squeegee blades are reversed or replaced, it takes a couple of hours to wear them in. They will be stiff at first and then conform to the floor. Always make sure the brushes are not damaged or worn before going out to a job. Remember to keep all your machines in perfect working condition and clean them after every job. Always be ready for the next use. Thank you for watching.